Spring Bulk 27, boys. Today is freaking forearm, bicep, and back day. But guys, I gotta say, okay, I want to put on so much, uh, Alexa, what does exorbitant mean? The adjective exorbitant is usually defined as exceeding the bounds of custom, propriety, or reason, especially in amount or extent, highly excessive. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for exorbitant. Amount of back gains, okay? That's what we're looking for. We're looking for an exorbitant amount. So with that said, boys, okay, I'm just excited to get a meat shield onto my back. Because here's the thing, when you are a newbie lifter and you have a paper thin, you know, figure, all right, especially like me, like I started and I had pretty much like no muscle to speak of, you know, I was like a little pencil basically, I was a pencil neck, you know, and ar you could argue maybe that I'm a pencil neck now because I don't have a super thick neck, but I'm actually cool with that because I don't have sleep apnea, but anyway, uh, boys, let's get to, let's get straight to the freaking point. We got syrup, okay, and we're just going to carb up massively, okay? I'm going to drink it until I feel like it's probably too much. That's what I always try to do, you know? We still got to take the creatine, and then we, we have uh, two liquid IVs that we're going to take. I believe this is like 10 carbs put together. Where the frick is the carbs? Oh, it's 11 per. So this is 22 grams of carbs from the liquid IV and however many we have from this. Plus I had four Pop-Tarts and uh, I think I had a Rice Krispie. Yeah. So. Three, two, one. All right. That was like six good gulps. That's how I measure it. And uh, hopefully today the pump is rambunctious. I might you know supplement with sodium or something too, just to get the veins flowing. But yeah, boys. Um, I'll see you guys in the gym. How many did you get? Seven. Okay, sweet. Next week get eight. I didn't want my ear about to fall out. Good, come on. Easy. Four reps. That was good. Get four on the right. Your right's a little stronger, huh? Lifting weights is better for you than running or jogging or walking. 
Yeah, I mean, in terms of overall health, yeah. yeah. I would take that bet. You gotta think too, like what's known to kind of degrade your joints? Running. What's known to make your joints stronger? Lifting. That's just my opinion though. Is there a strategy to the hammer cross? No, just instead of like this, it's just this. And you don't have to like go super far down. You can stop about here. Yeah. That goes for normal, that goes for the normal variation too. You don't have to go like elbow lock. You go just shy of that. Bicep. Baby bicep. For now it's baby bicep. Mm -mm. Dude, you're already doing the 30, 35. That's pretty good. Most people start with like 15 or 20. This one, like, struggling. Are you right-handed? I don't know. Tired? I, Come on. I don't know. Usually, usually, the opposite arm is, is stronger. On my side, I use this one so much more that it's more fatigue. I don't know. Do you do any isolated movements? For... Are you right-handed? Yeah. Um, do you notice that your left hand is stronger than your right when you do isolated movements? It used to be the case, but my arms are actually very even now. They used to be in balance, but I always start with my left for everything, so. Like, my right, right arm used to be an inch bigger, right forearm used to be an inch bigger, now they're the same, both measurements, so. Do you do I do what? How do you, do you know? 
I, I just measure. Oh, you just manually measure. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, maybe maybe the muscle mass is different or something, but I, I know that this one's 16 and a half, this one's 16 and a half, this one's 13 and a half, this one's 13 and a half. Last time I checked, but I've gained a lot of weight since then. <laughs> this guy. One or two. Just trying to catch up to you guys, man. <laughs> Got me playing catch up. How you doing, man? How are you? I'm all right. Not too bad. Fucking tired. <laughs> Waking up at five every day. For real? I ask what time I, I get up for work at five and beat her at six thirty. You get up when it's still. Is it dark? It's still at five, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, when I live there, I like seeing my shoulders and my chest. <laughs>
Up. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Ooh. <laughs> Do 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 the champion. How's that feel? Feels good. You feel you could go out of here? No. Good. The form looks good. Good. Easy. That's a lot of reps, huh? Keep going. Keep going. You have more in you. Yep. One more. One more. One more. That's it. Get one more. Oh, it looks like you have more.
Dude's way too strong. The beauty of it is he can't even hear me right now. I could say whatever I want about him, but I'm choosing to compliment him.
All right, boys, we're back from the gym. I got uh, three rebirth wins tonight, so that's exciting. And yeah, so just a quick little recap. Today, uh, I worked out with my dad and my brother. I usually would go with my brother, but <sighs> my dad has been trying to come too lately, which is nice. He's been getting back into lifting. And um, I, I've told this story before on the channel, but he used to squat like 700 back in a high school and I, a lot of guys tell that story a lot of old heads tell although oh you know I benched 405 but my dad admits he's like I never was a good bencher but I could always squat a lot and uh, he tried freshman year to squat seven plates and uh, which isn't necessarily 700 pounds but he was just at 700 so maybe he put on tens and fives or something but anyway uh, he tried it in freshman year almost died broke his almost broke his back and folded forward you know whatever dropped it you get how it is and then um his i think it was his junior year he reattempted it and he was able to get it so naturally strong guy very um when he was younger you know more athletic and everything and did all kind of different stuff but uh we'll get him back to that i mean i don't know if he's going to be squatting 700 but we'll get him real strong so Tomorrow's leg day, though, and it's going to be his first leg day. So that's it. Uh, interesting. I'm curious to see what happens there. <sighs> but I'll say this, guys. I'm not freaking done growing. Okay, my dad's six foot five, And, you know, I'm probably a little over 5'8". So we'll see what happens there. But I've heard of a lot of different cool stories about people getting freaking, you know, taller when they're like 20, 21, 22, 23, whatever however old and um seems pretty genetic so we'll see what happens there obviously i got the height genetics so anyway though back day went super heavy i might have already said that but i went super heavy today on everything that was the goal and i think what i'm gonna try to do and i've talked about this before is just master the form a little bit on the weights that i'm doing you know same thing with the curls today like i tried to improve the form a little bit and so i got a, a few less reps on the top set you know normally i would get like probably six reps on the 60s but i got four but the form was a little better i went down a little deeper you know Ooh, that was a nice little flex there oh mm, mm. that's the goal boys freaking 20 inch arms i think we're gonna get there i think we're gonna get there i think triceps are the majority of where I need those gains from. I mean, obviously, you have to have huge biceps as well. But, I mean, yeah. Wrist curls felt good on the joints. Wrist curls felt pretty good today. No elbow or shoulder pain. Uh, lat pull downs moved well. I did the full stack on the pull down, which was cool. Um, you guys know how it is. <sighs> And, uh, posing went great too. I think it was my quickest posing session ever where I ran through all my major poses. So, the ones that I enjoy. Anyway, hope you guys have a good one. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you guys tomorrow for leg day.